The new GitHub Copilot agent mode is absolutely insane and it is free to get access to. I'm not paying for this plan. And you can see here, we've got access to GitHub Copilot chat. Now I'm going to show you exactly what you can build with it, how you can use it. They've got two different modes. So they've just updated it to agent mode as well. And if we select between edit mode, we actually get free access to GPT-03 mini preview along with Claude 3.5 Sonic and Gemini 2.0 Flash. And they are free and available to you. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get this set up. First thing you wanna do is make sure that you download Visual Studio Code Insiders. That is completely free. You can download it on their website. I'll include the links inside the SAP as well today. And then once you've done that, you wanna make sure that you go down to extensions once you've installed this, and then make sure that you have GitHub Copilot installed like you can see right here. Additionally, we can also install Klein, and this can help you build apps, tools, websites, etc. If we install the extension Klein, which is also free, so we're gonna click Trust, Publisher, and Install. Then we go into the settings. Down here, we can select Visual Code LM API, and then we can actually get free access to code inside Klein 3.3 using O3 Mini, Claw 3.5 Sonnet, and you are not paying for these, right? Pretty crazy stuff. So let me show you exactly how you can build apps, websites, tools with this process. So the first way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna get a prompt from my custom GPT. If you want free access to this, it will be inside the SAP in the video notes from today. And we're gonna to say, for example, create an AI automation consultancy landing page, selling me what I do, etc. This will be used within Hub Copilot. And then we'll just get the prompt from this. This is one of the best ways you can generate prompts for creating websites and everything else because you're leveraging the power of the AI to come up with the most relevant prompt for you so that you can easily and quickly build this out. You could also include information about you, who you are, etc. And if we go back to Copilot now, inside Visual Studio Code, it's important to note that you do need insiders for this. You need Visual Studio Code insiders for this. And then we're gonna start using agent mode over here. We'll plug the prompt in. Also here as well, just to note, you've got the chat version, you've got Copilot edits, right? Two different modes right there. Something else to know is that with the free plan, you get 2000 completions plus 50 chat requests. If you're using the paid plan, you get a lot more. But for most people, they won't even go over those sort of limits. Then what we've done is we've taken the code from Copilot, as you can see, plug that into the edit mode, it's created the HTML over here, and we've got that good to go. And now if we switch to agent mode, which you can do down here, so you can select between edit and agent, say now run this, just make sure when you're doing this, if you're creating a new file from scratch, you would make sure you save the file. This is how easy it is. So for example, we've said create a website that looks like eBay using the agentic mode and it's setting up the CSS and the HTML structure. And if you want to open up a new folder and let's say you just want to store your files all in one place, you can click on open, set up a new folder. And then if you want to toggle the copilot on and off, just click on open chat over here and that'll start generating stuff for you. Now you'll see two different icons right here. So let me zoom in for you so it's a bit more obvious, but you've got the chat and you've got the copilot edits. So copilot edits is where you're going to find the agent and you can switch between edit mode and agent mode, right? So if we go to agent mode, and then we'll say something like, okay, create a website that looks like eBay. It's just gonna start setting that project up for us. Now what you can see is it's creating the files for the project at the top. And if you need to switch between the files, like all you do is you click on the top left over here, where it says Explorer, and this is where you can see your project files. It can be a little bit confusing, but that's basically how you use this. And then if you click on accept all the changes, we can click done. And then if we click run this, it will open it up in your browser, like you can see right here. If we say, okay, create a beautiful SEO landing page, I'll plug in some information about me, who I am, etc., And then it will start going off and coding this. And the good thing about agent mode is that you can self iterate, right? So you can see the errors, you can see any problems in the project and then go off and fix them. So you see here how it says apply and edits and it gives us a percentage. You can basically like scan for all your code and be like, okay, we're gonna edit this, edit that, etc. Here's what we need to improve. Here's how we can change the existing code that we've got. And also the cool thing about this is because it can make edits itself, it can just go off, code the project, you can go and do something else. And then in the background, this is running and coding and editing. Again, I'm not clicking anything or typing anything but we can build all sorts of apps and that sort of thing. And again, I have not paid a single penny for any of this. Claude 3.5 Sonic is normally a paid API, but it's free with Visual Studio Code within the limits. And it's now coding out the style CSS.
The other benefit of this, say, versus something like fold.new is that it's hosted locally. So you've got the project folder with all the files and then you can come back to it later. It's now finished running that project and it's going to offer to run this in the terminal. So we open it up and there's our website ready to go. Pretty nice, actually, to be fair. I think it's got links to all our social media accounts. Nice and clean. Full landing page ready to go. So you even insert some icons and that sort of thing. And then you can build out the rest of the pages later. So if you wanted to build out the rest of the website, you just feel like, okay, now create the about me page and the agent can just go off and do that. Now, whilst that's running in the background, we can also run a new window. So if you right click the icon and then open up a new window, you can open up another project and then code like multiple pages, multiple websites, etc., all at the same time, because this is running on autopilot as an agent in the background. So for example, if we open up a new folder and then we go over to edit mode, we'll select GPT-03 mini, just test it out, see what that's like. Obviously that only came out what, about less than two weeks ago. It's the newest API from OpenAI. Normally paid, we get it for free inside GitHub Copilot and that's just gonna go off and do its magic. Now we've got the about me page on the other website ready to go. So let's click and open this. And there we go. We have the about me page built out on the website. So we've got the home page ready to go. And then we've also got the about me page built out as well. And it wrote all of this content just by itself. The other thing as well, like you can attach images to the project later and insert those in. But yeah, it's pretty nicely formatted as well. Includes some information about us, our achievements, information about me, etc. We're good to go on that. We can also take the files from the project and then just run it through LiveWeave, especially if it's a simple one like HTML, uh, CSS, and JavaScript. So if we go back to the project, we've taken the HTML already. Now we're going to take the style CSS, go back to liveweave.com, plug that in down here, and then grab the JavaScript as well for the game. And now we have our game built out, collect the backlinks game. You can see the score is updating in the background with the website ready to go, like you can see. And if we go back to that project, down here, we can switch to Claw 3.5 Sonnet for actually improving the front end, right? So for example, GPT-03 Mini, it would do a great job for coding the back end. But like you can see, like the design is not that nice when you actually land on the page. So even though it's functional, it doesn't look that nice. So the way that you can improve that is if we go back here and we say, okay, improve the design of the website, make it beautiful, modern, sleek, and interesting it's now going to start editing the page like you see so it's generating the edits going through the page figuring out what to improve and we don't have to do anything right it's really breach a gap between someone who can't code but has an idea and just getting that implemented really quickly within the space of 15 minutes of testing this out and using it it's really quick and easy to figure out okay here's how you use it here's how it works etc and also you can see it's generating the edits for the style css and index HTML at the same time and improving the JS. So it seems to be able to edit like multiple pages at the same time, which is pretty cool. Now we could take that, go back to LiveWeave, we'll grab the JavaScript again, plug that in here, and already it's looking a lot nicer, right? So if you saw what we previously had versus now, it looks a lot nicer. Even the design of the game looks a lot nicer. So Claude 3.5 Sonnet is probably your best bet for the front end. And for the back end, GPT-03 Mini does the job. So if we go back to this page now, we've got the game ready to go. I think the goal is collect the green ones, avoid the red ones. Game over if you hit the red ones. And that's it. That's how to build a game and a website at the same time for free using Copilot and AI in one single prompt. Pretty crazy stuff. And the way that we generated this idea right here was again using this prompt forge AI method, which is a custom GPT I built specifically for prompting bolt.new, Copilot, client, etc to get really good outputs. If you want access to that, it's inside the AI Profit Boardroom, along with our crash course on how to make money and save time with AI. And if you go to the SAP section over here, you will find the link to the GPT. Now, if you want to get access for free directly to World 3.5 Sonnet and to code big projects out with that, what you can actually do is if you go to Klein, so make sure you've got Klein 3.3 installed inside the extensions marketplace. So you go to extensions, Klein, install that, once you've done that, go down to client here and then inside your settings, so click the cog in the top right, select VS Code LM API. And then in this list, you're going to find, for example, Copilot, GPT 4, 40 Mini, 4003 Mini, Claw 3.5 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash. Now, you can also insert instructions here. So you can insert custom instructions on how to use it. Let me show you some examples of what I've used previously. So inside here, inside the custom instructions, I've said you're a coder for Goldie Agency, information about us, here's what we do. Here's the links to our funnels, here's what to use, etc. You can also include like your brand colors 
and also information about your social media links. Each project can actually include inside the design. So let's test, for example, inside Client 3.3, we said build out a to-do list. We're using Visual Studio Code and Claw 3.5 Sonnet. We'll allow that. We'll close Copilot for now. And you can see it's based on this task to build a to-do list app in the current environment. And it's using the custom instructions that we gave it before. Now it's building out the file, as you can see. So it's creating the index.html. And the good thing about Client as well is that you can set it on auto approve. So you don't need to keep clicking approve or anything like that. It's just going to approve and build everything out for you. And then you've got the files stored locally. So for example, it switched from building out the index.html to the style CSS. And then eventually it will add a JavaScript for the functionality of the actual app. Now it's ready to go. So if we hit run command, that's going to open up the project. Now we've got the project ready to go. So it's created the whole landing page, etc., And it's given us some example tasks already. Let's test if this works. So we'll say test client 3.3, add the task, and you can see it's added perfectly. Plus, we've got a link to our free SEO strategy session on the page. And I think one of the best ways to use this is like you find recommended tools, games, apps, etc., that people are searching for inside your niche. And then you can easily create these mini landing pages or mini websites, host them, rank them, quite easy to do. So as an example of this, it's a great lead generation method. So if we put, for example, SEO game, you can see here, people searching that on Google as an SEO agency, we could easily create this, build it out with Copilot or client 3.3, get it hosted and boom, we've got a new lead generation method. Same, for example, if we put calculator, there's so many terms you can rank for around that. And obviously whatever industry you're in, you would change this, right? So if you're in the finance niche, you can put finance calculator. Or if you're in the health niche, you can put health calculator or health game. That's actually pretty easy to rank for, decent traffic potential. And there's a bunch of other keyword ideas down here. It's so easy to build out these apps, tools, websites, games, etc., using a combination of Client 3.3 or GitHub Copilot. And by the way, if you're wondering, okay, like how do you get this hosted? For example, if we open this up, if we reveal that in Finder, we've got the project files right here. Now, if we go to Netlify, and this is a service someone could sell easily as building out landing pages or apps or tools for a client. You can just go to add a new site, import from an existing project, Netlify drop, grab that folder from before, drag it in there, and then you can just easily deploy your files like you can see. And that literally took a minute or two. If we open that up, we've now got this hosted on a subdomain. We can share this with people. For example, if we open this up in a new incognito tab, we've now got a subdomain hosted with our to-do list or our game or our tool, and we built it all out for free. Even hosting it on the subdomain on Netlify is completely free. And just to be clear here, you're not paying for client. You're not paying for Cohop Pilot or I haven't paid for it. And you've seen how much I've used it today. You're not paying for Visual Studio Code Insider. You're not paying to host it on a subdomain. Like all of this is free. It's pretty wild stuff. Plus, you've got it hosted locally, so you can come back to the project whenever you want. And if you've never coded before, you could get this to work within a day. You can figure this stuff out. So thanks so much for watching. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to plug in all the SAPs, all the links and all the prompts from today directly inside the AI Profit Boardroom. If you go inside the classroom, you get a ton of courses here, but we're actually going to plug this inside the SAP section along with all my latest video SAPs. If we add a new page here called Hub Copilot Agent Mode, you can find a link to our custom GPT for programming these pretty easily. If you want the custom instructions for client, I've added that inside here as well. So you can just personalize those and copy and paste them in. If you want the example prompt from the game, I've also plugged that in along with a link to an example site that we built just now, as you can see. And if you want the step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how you or your team or your virtual assistant can set all of this up for you, you could sell this as a service. You could do it for yourself. You could scale lots of tools out internally to save your team time then I've plugged in the SAP directly into the video notes from today. That's inside the AI Profit Boardroom, link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month, feel free to book that in, link in the comments description on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan, so you'll get a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more lead sales and profits to your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building, or answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building and how to 10 SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.